everyone, welcome back to Learn English with Sandra and welcome back to part two of this series. In this video, I'm going to explain the going to future. In part one, I explained the will future and you can find the link somewhere up here. We use the going to future when we talk about plans. Let me give you some examples. They are going to move to New York in March. This sentence describes a plan. The plan is to move to New York in March. And at this point, they're going to carry out the plan. He's going to buy a car soon. This sentence also describes a plan. His plan is to buy a car soon and he's making all the preparations for it. For example, he's saving money, he's looking at cars, he's researching, asking around and so forth. We also use the going to future when making predictions about the near future. A prediction is a statement about what you think will happen in the future. She's going to be a brilliant president. After the election, a person shares their opinion about the new president and their opinion is that she's going to be brilliant. I'm going to have a hard time falling asleep after watching this movie. This person has just watched a really scary horror movie and can now predict that he or she will have a really hard time falling asleep. As always, there are some signal words also for the going to future. These are next Friday, next weekend, next year, tomorrow, soon, on the 25th of October, in August. We use the going to future when we want to talk about plans. They are going to move to New York in March. He's going to buy a car soon. We can also use it when making predictions about something in the future. She's going to be a brilliant president. I'm going to have a hard time falling asleep after watching this movie. Hope this helps you. And as I said, if you need more support, please visit my website and don't forget to subscribe down below. See you soon. <music>